So since our 10,000 calories in one day challenge happened on our JP and Julia channel, I rekindled my love for bagel bites. But I only ate 20, and that's not nearly enough. So we teased the idea to make a giant one. You know what you should make? A bagel. That way I can have a bigger one of these. <laughs> well, we can make a giant pizza bagel. And you guys were all about it, except for some of you who hate giant things. So good news, we're going to show you how to make normal sized bagel bites from scratch. So make sure you vote in the poll which one you'd rather have. Step one, make a bagel. In a large bowl, add in room temperature water, bread flour, yeast, and stir. Cover with plastic wrap and rest for two hours. In a second bowl, add more bread flour, salt, sugar, diagnostic milk powder, and stir. It has now been two hours, which is really quick if you don't think about it, and this is what your mixture should look like. Pop the dough hook on, start mixing, and then just slowly add in the flour mixture from the other bowl a little bit at a time. If you feel that you're not enjoying yourself, you're bored, you're just not happy, don't worry. Do that. Is this pizza dough? Yeah, it'll work. But it might not work. It'll work. All right, let's try. Is that a pepperoni stick? Yeah. Give it that, yes. Step 1.5. You can just buy pizza dough. It's easier. So we're gonna oil JP's pan down and the side and stick one pizza dough in the middle. Hopefully it will fill that. And we wanna cover this and let it rise. And hopefully it does. It worked! Now just gently massage your thumb in the center of your dough slowly. Softly and gently. Now you have loosened it up just enough to apply more fingers to come inside and stretch it out. Place it back in the mold, insert a healthy junk food pint glass in the center, and cover it with a damp, dirty dishcloth that has chocolate stains on it. Actually, let's flip it over. Much better. Now we let it rise again. For actual bagel bites, take your dough and cut them into smaller pieces, roughly 35 grams each. Roll them into a ball and continue with the same thumb massage finger method until you form your mini bagels. It poofed! It's been 24 hours, it's been sitting in the fridge. All the flavors have now combined. These are not only gonna be the biggest bagels ever, but they're also gonna be the tastiest. This is my butthole. Don't, don't touch that. Okay, there we go. Right now we got a giant pot of boiling water. We're going in with a quarter cup of baking soda. That's gonna act as the catalyst to create our nice, shiny, glossy outer shell. After about 60 seconds, you will want to flip. There, you got it. Now we just bake them at 425 degrees Fahrenheit, turning every 7 minutes. That looks like something you get at Panera Bread. So to make sure our bagels are cooked all the way through, the internal temperature must read 200 degrees Fahrenheit, or 190. <gasps> it's done. You should freeze them and put them in the microwave. <laughs> well, why would I do that when I have these in here? Why didn't we just get those? <laughs> right now, the wild Julia is cutting our cheese because that's how it comes on a bagel bite. Frozen cubed cheese. But because our bagel bite's bigger, we have to make bigger cheese cubes. Giant cheese cubes. My favorite is definitely the three cheese bagel bite. The cheese they use for that is mozzarella, cheddar, and Monterey Jack. We know what the last thing we gotta cut? So now we're just gonna square off each side of the pepperoni and cut them into cubes, just like we did the cheese. And of course we need to make the small ones too. This right here is the essence of the bagel bite. And all of this was prepared to you by the one and only Julia Di Guglia. So here's our homemade bagel recipe. It's been about 30 minutes, maybe an hour. Actually, I don't know, go to our website. But either way, our bagel is done. And we shouldn't have baked it on a wire rack. All right guys, so don't do this. When, no, when you do this, this is fine that you do this, but just grease the pan. This is the store-bought pizza dough version that we didn't submerge in the hot water before baking. As you can see, it looks like a bagel bite, but it's not a bagel. So we decided to take step one's bagel and spread cream cheese on it. DIY, giant bagel with cream cheese. Delicious. Does it taste like a bagel? Mm -hmm. This is the greatest bagel I've ever made. This is the first bagel I've ever made, and it's also the tastiest. 
All right, guys, this has nothing to do with this video. Bontiovi has sponsored this video and provided us with the sauce that we're going to be using for our recipe. We stand behind this product because not only does it taste amazing, but they only agreed to share their family sauce if a portion of the proceeds are donated to charity. So every bottle you buy will go towards a good cause. We're offering a 20% off coupon code. And they also have these sauce pouches, perfect for a dinner for two, like JP and me cuddled up. Remember to use the coupon code, guys. The link's in the description. Yes, get all the sauce. So now we gotta pick a sauce. I think we should go with that classic marinara for the bagel bite. What do you think? So if for some reason you decided to buy bagels, the do-it-yourself part would start now. Actually, it would start here and then now. And I'm not sure if instructions are necessary, but we shall proceed. I've eaten a lot of bagel bites in my day. One of those favorite after-school snacks. I want to challenge you guys, how many bagel bites can you eat in one sitting? Ew, don't do that. No. Ooh, these look just like bagel bites. Yeah. More pepperonis, more cheese anywhere? No. JP approved. Let's get these over here on a baking sheet and get them in the oven. We could microwave them, but... It all depends on how much time you have. It all depends on how patient you are. And we're very patient because this took a couple days to make. It definitely is going in the oven. That looks so magical. It smells so good. Oh wait, we gotta check those other bagel bites. Ooh, done. This is a bagel bite. This is our bagel bites. <gasps> they look magical. They look homemade. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. It really is. Julia's gonna be smart and wait, but I can't. I gotta trust. Oh, you're eating that. Mm. It's good. These are better than the real thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. So, do you think if we used the bagel, that it would have been more like a bagel bite? Yeah, but this is better. This is the best pizza I've ever had because it tastes like a French bread pizza. And French bread pizza is my favorite. This is a French bread pizza. Three cheese pepperoni. Oh my god. Oh my god. I like how you talk dirty to that. How <laughs> do you like that? I like it. Well, I would say get a room, but you really. Can I have some privacy? 